My name is Bob Bauer, and I would like to introduce you to Jerry Brisson from the Gleaners Community Food Bank right here in Detroit, Michigan, a group I've done a lot of work with before, a very worthwhile organization, very efficient as well, and Brian Martindale from Karma Inc. Apparel, and I want you to listen to what they have to tell you about what's going on in February. Thank you, Bob. Back here at the U Detroit studios again for Carmi Capero. Every month we donate to a different nonprofit, 10% of all of our sales. And in the month of February, we are supporting the Gleaners Community Food Bank of Metro Detroit. Jerry Bassan here, my friend, is going to tell you about the good work they do. We're going to be donating 10% of all of our sales, plus the shirt that you see on both of us, the Detroit Rising design. Every time you purchase it, we will be donating $5 to the Gleaners Food Bank. Jerry, let them know what you do. Well, just to give an example, $5 is going to get 15 meals for a hungry neighbor. It makes such a huge difference. Every dollar is three meals. We distribute 100,000 meals a day. And we distribute them to places, you know, like the Salvation Army or the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, pantries, shelters, schools, places where you have kids and families that need help. And in the wintertime, we really struggle because so many families need more help as they have to pay their heat bill. Right. And so this kind of thing really makes a difference for us. Every dollar makes a difference. We're so grateful to be part of your program here. I can't tell you how much it means to us. Well, Carmen and Caparel is very honored to be partnered with the Gleaners Community Food Bank for all of February. If you'll go to karmaincaparel.com, you'll see all of our designs, hoodies, thermals, tank tops, and T-shirts, and every one of them gives back. So look for us in February, and also use the donate button to donate directly to the Gleaners Food Bank on the CarmenCapparel.com website. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. All right, fellas, we appreciate you all coming down. It is so good to see you again, Bob, man. Bob, it's great to see you. It's, You've it's, done so much for us. What a what a pleasure. It always gives me joy. Well, that smile is worth a million bucks <laughs> right there. <laughs> I just want to thank you for all the work that you and your organization have done over the years I you know there's there's a couple three different formulas out there and the one I used to use all the time during the food drive was 12 cents gets a pound of food ergo 250 bucks gets a ton of food and remember because we used to have the oh, one ton yeah. club absolutely and, right absolutely right well we ran into a bit of a problem this year uh, called red tape <laughs> but I promise you that next year uh, and we're going to do it here in downtown. It'll be the first time we've ever done it in downtown. And um, I'm really excited about that prospect. And it's always a pleasure to work with you folks. When it comes to efficiency, the Gleaners Community Food Bank is the top. Thank you very much. Thank and, you very much. And I know that you pay very close attention to how much it costs you to raise a dollar. And that's really, really important. Well, think about it this way. If every dollar provides three meals, that means we don't want to spend any dollars we don't have to spend because that's three less meals that we would right. get from it. So 94 cents of every dollar we get goes to food in the food programs. And the reason for that is every dollar is three more meals. Yeah. Well, and then you're a 501c3 nonprofit. We've got to throw that in there. And that means, folks... Get a little tax right on the thing at the end yeah, of the year. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, and listen, Brian, thank you for all you do and everything you're doing. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you here at the cafe and to be getting involved with you and and uh, Electric uh, Kramer and all that whole. It's just a whole big swirly here <laughs> at, at you in Detroit. <laughs> And we, I hope to see you more often. Oh, we'll come back, for sure. And, and you tell Mike and Joan Isabella that I said hello, and I miss them tremendously. I will do that. We're having dinner on Sunday. The best chicken and waffles in town, I understand. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good for you guys. Listen, fellas, I'm going to get back to what I do here.